everyone, this is Gunther Bovine. I've just kind of wandered around in uh, Stormreach. I've got my boots recharged, so I'm ready. I'm going to hope summon my, my good friend Fred. And we're ready to go off and do our first Stormreach quest. So we're going to, we just picked up a quest. We talked to uh, Sher Clock Lincoln's the Farlian, and we're going to go run and do one of his quests. And so we're coming down here. We're going to be doing level two quests. And so real quick, if you can see, I go Adventure Compendium, and I click on level. I'll see all my quests. So and I click again, I'll short it by level one to level two. So level one, you can see I've done all my level one quests on progress on normal. So I picked up favor, and I'll talk about favor later. So now I'm going to start working through my level two quests, and there's a pretty good number of level two quests. So we're going to be busy doing that. So that will take us up to level three, and potentially behind, beyond. So here we go. We're going to Osgood's basement. All right. Summon Fido. Success. Good. Master's Touch. All right. Oh. Hey, a little late there. If I don't trigger him. Uh. Come on, get back up. Get back. There we go. Back up on my feet. So, come over here, throw a lever, and we run down here, and we're going to click on Featherfall, Whee! and we're going to go up here, and nope, Fred caught up, Fido will catch up too, and this, do some smashing. Heard that it was a gem. Pick up some gem and they go into my small gem bag. That's very nice. And the reason we came this way is for this. This is a collectible. So collectibles are how we're going to be making money. Uh, there was no collectibles on Corthos, but we're, there are collectibles here in Stormreach. Uh, now, coming up ahead are oozes. Oozes are very bad. They make your weapons... Uh, disintegrate. So I'm going to pull out my bow and actually shoot him. All right. Killed that one ooze. Let's see. Where's the next ooze? There's two oozes here. Hello, Mr. Ooze. Where are you? Oh, well, well while he, Mr. Ooze is showing up. I think Fred and Fido would have actually taken care of the oozes, but it's always better to play it safe. And all right, going through here, so we're smashing. Click on here, where is ooze number two? Uh, oh, no ooze number two. Maybe they changed it so that no longer have ooze number two. Oh, well, this is Bowman's great ass. We no longer, uh, well, so, we're going to change to start using the plus one mall of radiance. So 7.15, 7.15, this is plus one damage. And this one was uh, less monstrous behemoth board bay. But we're not going to run into uh, Shahagan anymore. So it's really not that good of a weapon. So we're going to do, you can see we have a little exclamation point here. So we're going to go master's touch. And off we go. So we got that, that, we went up there, we grabbed that collectible, got a sweet white cap, you know, which is different types of collectibles produce different types of things. You see one of men oh, way down there. come back here, come back here. Oh. So we got some more iron doggies. Uh, we like to cast grease, which is annoying. Come on, get back up. I don't really have much in the way of balance. 
And they're, they're dead. Throw this little valve here and open the gate. And then we come back here and we smash stuff. So, as I started to say, there are certain items produce certain things. The I could heal, but gosh, who knows? And shrine here, but we're doing great. Uh, for turns of health, come over here. Smash stuff, smash stuff. A few more smashes, and then this is a dead end. So, we're going to come down here. And explore the sewers some more. Hey, come back here. I want to talk to you. Hey, Fred, come on. Fred, I want to talk to you some more. And once again, we've got iron doggies to kill. We've got that one killed. That one killed. And stuff to smash. This time the valve's a little further on. See, there's nothing that way. This way, there's nothing really up there. So we're going to come down here. Now the swimmers, and we got a little bit of swimming. Up, oh, my shield ran out. It's not a. I can't cast while I'm in water, so I'd have to wait till I get to dry land, and my boots ran out. I can cast them right now, but I know I really don't need to because I've got all I'm doing is come over here and I throw these two valves. You hear the grind and clatter of machinery from below and to the west. You hear the grind and clatter of machinery from below and to the west. So I'm just gonna jump into the water here. And so we swim off to the west here. And there's two things. We look for rubble. And do 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 do. Or fours we're not worried about. An amber vial and 27. What we're really looking for is small Eberron dragon shard fragments. The wrath of and stone against stone from somewhere above, as if a massive barrier is moving aside. They're not uncommon in the harbor. They're, they get rare as you go along, but other places you have other more valuable collectibles. So. That's what we're going to do. So some, it's like mushrooms only have a few items that they do in the harbor. In the harbor, you only get, typically you only get items that are available in the harbor traders. So we're going to recast shield, and we are ready to go up here. Iron Defender. And we're going to clear these guys here. And then we got that. There we go. The secret path ends in a well kept warehouse. And if we grab the artifact. And we get a chest. Quickly return to the Fairlane representative. And we get some useless bracers. And we leave. Okay, so we moved a little further down here than where we were originally. Generally, I'm not going to use Expeditious Retreat, but I know the next quest is, is a really short quest. So I'm going to go back up, talk to the guy, and get my reward. And, and then we'll do the next quest. So what do you got for me? Um, chill Dwarven Axe. Plus one, ooh. Um, now that's a an exotic weapon proficiency. Now the master's touch only allows me to uh, grant um, simple or martial weapons. So if I got this, I couldn't actually use it. So what we're doing here, plus two dosing of lightning guard. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I mean, we have to wait for level three to use it, but it's generally it looks like the best one here. Hardy one. Ring one, Constitution, Dexterity, those really aren't going to be doing us anything pretty good. Also, I always try and get the highest level I can of any type, so going for a level one item is, is generally a bad idea. If there's level three items there, you want to get the, the higher value items. 
so we're going to go um, to grab there. So particularly, you know, something that you get that has both a prefix and a suffix. So we have a hardy one, that's the prefix, of dexterity, that's the suffix. So that's really splitting the value over two things. We really would prefer uh, a ring of dexterity two. Now that would be very nice, but we don't have that choice. Um, so here we go, we get the hardy, the, grab the plus two docent, and so ends our quest.